yesterday we had some snow on the way back from um, work. I slid yeah. a couple of times. It was slippery. And kind of caught some folks by surprise uh, how we look in today. Kind of similar to yesterday. And Dustin, you mentioned on your way in, you saw some flurries. Yeah, pretty heavy. Pretty yep. big burst of flurries at that. Now, out there right now, there's really not much. I believe you will encounter some of those light snow bursts out there earlier on today, but it's not until we get into this afternoon that we're going to have an actual band of snow come through. So flurries early and then that more organized snowfall as we get into the afternoon hours today. In the meantime, the sky has been trying to clear and the temperature has been dropping. Most of us are starting our day off in the teens. Right now we've got 17 down in Nashville, Indiana, 16 up in Carmel and around 14 in downtown. Watch how this plays out though as the day goes on. So we're starting off relatively quiet. Here comes that snow cluster. Now this is not going to be an impactful widespread heavy snow system. Moves into the western side of the state first as flurries. As it moves into central parts of the state, including the metro, this is about two o'clock later on this afternoon. I do anticipate there to be some heavy your snowbirds. Similar to yesterday morning, they'll come in, they'll quickly reduce visibility, lay down a coating on untreated surfaces, and that could create some slippery driving conditions through the course of our afternoon. So I want you to be uh, really weather aware with that. Heading into the five o'clock hour, still looking at these scattered snow showers lingering through the metro, moving into the eastern side of the state, and then eventually after the sun goes down, we're talking closer to about seven, eight o'clock. This is all going to clear out and the sky is actually going to clear on the backside of that system as temperatures drop once again. So as far as our temperatures go for today, really not going to see much of a warming trend whatsoever. Only going to be back in the lower 20s later on this afternoon. And keep in mind this afternoon, if you're going to be downtown, you perhaps don't have any plans. The Pacers are going to be hosting the Timberwolves at 3 p.m. earlier than normal tip off later today at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. Taking it to the overnight tonight and then tomorrow. This is when we're really looking at that warming trend to begin. Dry weather returns. We bring back sunshine. Yes, it will be a cold start to our Valentine's Day, but we get back into the upper 20s, lower 30s tomorrow. I'm looking at highs tomorrow to get into the lower 30s near that freezing mark. Finally going to start to thaw things back out after this very cold weekend. Check this out. As we get into our Tuesday, even warmer air moves back in. Most of us see highs back into the lower 40s on Tuesday. We're forecasting 45 here in the city, but check this out. Getting into our Wednesday and Thursday, those two days are going to be oddly warm, especially for this time of year, well above the average. But of course, it's not going to last. We've got this widespread storm system that's going to move in. At this point, still a little a bit of a disagreement on these longer range weather models when we will see a transition from rain to a wintry mix. Looks like it's going to be mainly rain during the course of the day on Thursday. This is at 2 p.m. We'll see a brief changeover later on the backside of that system later in the day on Thursday before it all moves out Friday. We say goodbye to those 50s and that much colder air returns for the latter part of the week. So still cold today, but we're working our way upwards 56 on Wednesday. Rain returns overnight Wednesday into Thursday with a wintry mix and colder air to wrap up next week.